Seven Republican presidential candidates are set to participate in the second GOP debate tonight. They will take the stage at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley, California. Former President Donald Trump is skipping the debate and will instead give a speech in Michigan. His rivals in the race are running pretty far behind the frontrunner in recent polls. CBS News senior White House and political correspondent Ed O'Keefe joins us now. As you see on your screen, he's joined by the chairwoman of the California Republican Party, Jessica Milan Peterson. Ed? Errol and Lana, good to see you from the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library. If you've ever been here, or if you ever plan to visit here, you'll know that it's sitting on top of a large hill. It just so happens that the chairwoman of the California Republican Party lives at the bottom of the hill. That's not why we're here tonight, but it's awfully convenient for you that you get to sleep in your own bed tonight. And not required. Exactly. Uh, Jessica Leon Patterson, thank you for being with us. Um, what do you want to hear tonight? from these candidates that are gathered here? Well, exciting to be a California Republican, having all of these candidates come to California. We're an early state. We have 169 delegates, more than any other state in the nation. So to hear them bring their message as to why they are going to be the best candidate to beat Joe Biden or whoever the Democrat nominee ends up being November 2024 is going to be exciting tonight. There are seven on stage. There's an eighth missing, the front runner, Donald Trump. Should he be here? I would love to see all of the candidates on stage. Each one of them are going to have to make the decision on what strategically is best for their campaign. And while President Trump won't be on the stage tonight, he will be at the California Republican Party's convention this weekend, making his case to delegates. Yeah. I mean, you know the other candidates have said he should be joining us in these conversations so that voters get a full chance to survey the landscape. I mean, aren't Republicans in this state and elsewhere being cheated by not having them here? I think that what we're going to see is these candidates really talk about the failures of the Joe Biden presidency. And that's really what they should be pointing at. And here in California specifically, you can look to someone like Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom, who has led this state with the Democrat Party and what they've done to our golden state. We've had 700,000 people leave our state in the last two years. We've seen crime rise. We've seen our schools fail. We've seen gas prices higher than any other place in the nation. Meanwhile, other more red states have uh, grown in population, gained congressional yeah. seats. So I think you're going to see a big contrast between what leaders from other states have done and why they could make places better like California. You mentioned you have how many delegates? We have 169 delegates. Most of any other states, for obvious reasons, you're the most populated. You used to do things a little differently, though, when it came to presidential primaries, and you're changing the way you do that. It gets a little technical. But it's important as we get into later stages of this campaign, as we start to add up who's getting what delegates. You're changing the rules to allow somebody to win all of those delegates if they get at least 50 plus 1 percent of the vote in the presidential primary. It used to be you dole them out proportionally, which incentivized having candidates come <clears throat> to different congressional districts and maybe target the San Diego area, or Orange County, or Northern California, and pick up a few there. Why the change? So to be clear, we did not dole out candidate or delegates proportionally. We were winner take all by congressional district. That's, the yes, reason okay. why we had to change was to be compliant with the RNC rules. California Democrats moved our primary up, which is exciting. We get to be an early state, but it also made, meant that our way of giving out delegates was not compliant with RNC rules. We would have lost half of our delegation if we did not change our rules. So now we are proportional and you can come to California and rack up many many more than some states uh, just by getting a proportion here. It is a 50 percent plus one winner take all and um, if there's a candidate that can get there it's a very high bar to reach. Right. If there is a three-way race though for whatever reason then you and and it's split nobody gets that you'll still then dole them out proportionally. proportionally. Okay so if it's a three or four way fight towards the end or towards once we get to California it's still a fight. If not, somebody could really clean up here in California. Early Super Tuesday state, and that's yeah. why all eyes are going to be on us. Quickly, what did to you, because this is going to be part of the conversation tonight as it has been across the campaign, but what do you does it mean today to be a Republican? I think today it means that we're choosing freedom. We're choosing to be out there and talking about the values that are important to us. We're supporting law enforcement. We want our children to get the best education regardless of what zip code that they live in. So I think those are the ideals and core principles that Republicans bring to the table for America. So that's going to be on Patterson, chairwoman of the California GOP. We're here literally in her backyard tonight. We thank you for having us. No, thank you. Good luck tonight. All right. Errol and Lana, back to you guys in New York. All right. Thank you, Ed. And please thank Jessica Milan Patterson for us.
And Ed O'Keefe will anchor a special America Decides live from Simi Valley. Join us for an hour-long preview at 5 p.m. Eastern. Among the guests will be California Governor Gavin Newsom. Also have a post-debate breakdown show at 11 p.m. Eastern right here on CBS News.